getting user input from the command line. It's simple enough in PowerShell. We have a commandlet called read host, and it's got a nifty little parameter called prompt where you can provide a string to give more information on what a person should be entering. Uh, so if we run this, simply enough, the screen is cleared, and I can enter my name. So I'll go ahead, Mr. Power Scripts. Ooh. Okay. So when I run it, it just spits it out back to the screen. So that is how we can uh, enter information, and then we can do a little bit more here. Uh, I'm simply just going to pipeline it to write host, and then uh, let's see what happens here. Mr. Power Scripts. Okay. So you'll see that it has used right, it passed it to write host, and then we use foreground color green to see that it's actually doing a little bit of work. Um, so that is one way that you can work with the input, but we can also assign it to a variable if we want. Var is equal to the read host. So we'll run it again, and when we type it in, Mr. Power Scripts. Okay, we run it. It doesn't display anything this time, but now we have a variable with the information, so we can continue using this uh, throughout the rest of our script. But let's say that you don't want to have the user enter it as clear text. Maybe it's a password that you want to use to uh, supply to some other um, components of, of your script. Well, there's one more parameter that we can use as secure string. So let's go ahead and run this one more time. You'll see that it pops up to a box. If you have this running in the console, it will actually uh, just display it in the console. But since we're on the ISE, different things can happen. So we'll go ahead and type it in. Mr. Power Scripts. Okay. So when we run that, let's take a look at what's in our var. And you'll see uh, that it has been turned into a, a different kind of variable. It is now a secure string, which is um, something not, it's not part of PowerShell. It's, it's kind of part of the .NET library, the back end, uh, something that PowerShell relies heavily on. Um, so that's something that you can use to obscure it. But the problem is that now we can't use this uh, variable to supply it to other things that we're using in our script. Maybe we're trying to um, connect to something and we need to provide a password. It's not going to understand this because it's, it's seen as a, a secure string, which is uh, not, not clear text and it won't work. So what can we do to uh, change this secure string back to clear text so that we can use it in the rest of our uh, script? Well, there's a little bit of code here you can use and we're using other stuff it, that's in, in working in the back in the, the Windows system uh, and this little bit of code when we provide it that var it will uh, turn it back to clear text so let's go ahead and run it Mr. Power Scripts and you'll see that it has displayed it as clear text now. So if I wanted to have it in a variable, we'll call it var2. Let's run it one more time. Mr. Power Scripts. Okay. And let's see what's in var2. And there we go. So um, that is a way that if you need to uh, provide a way for somebody to enter their own information into a script, uh, but you want to obscure it, um, and then you can have it translated back to clear text from the secure string type, and then you can use it throughout the rest of your script to either supply it to uh, make connections somewhere else um, or wherever you're going to need to do it. So that's it, reading text from the command prompt, um, using the secure method to obscure it, and uh, that's it. Thanks for watching.